Ready when you are. We're ready? We're up. Okay. Hey, happy Monday. I hope, I hope you had, you've had a good one. It's been a, been a long week for us. We've been busy getting solar sizers out. Um, as of tonight, we're caught up <clears throat> and getting, getting hold of our, all of our materials is still going to be a challenge um, because of the COVID. So we have units in stock right now. Um, we're probably going to be back order before our next batch is ready, but we do have all the component parts. We're working on our next group right now, and we're trying to get enough component parts for, for the, next, the next group. So cellar size is a great piece of equipment. It's something you should be able to use for the rest of your life. There's, uh, our competition has been constantly and consistently trying to disparage a unit. We have people that, if the leg is a little sticky, they'll make it look like it's really hard to get off. And you know, there are some legs where there's an inside seam, very, very thin, that if it's um, protruding, protruding a little bit, that leg can get stuck. And rather than just make it look bad, you just twist it a little bit. If you twist it um, back and forth, it should loosen up. If there's a problem, give us a call. I mean, we. We support our cellar size family. We'll make sure that you have what you need so that your cellar sizer is going to be one of your best friends for the rest of your life, as it is ours. Um, we're going to do a little work tonight on the Mr. Rebounder app. It's a new routine. I've added it. It's actually on your Mr. Rebounder program. There's a little editing that needs to be done, and I've done some of that editing, and we, we're going to upgrade that because... I don't want you to have to do the sit and bounce, which really works the core for 30 seconds with all the other sit and bounce programs. So some of the techniques we're going to be doing are advanced. And if you're not comfortable, stay with the beginning level. If we're doing a sit and bounce, you can put your hands right by your hips on the mat and support your back the whole time while we're doing some of the other movements. Um, but I want you to go where you're comfortable. If you haven't done this much before, um, we need to, it's important to support your back because the back needs to get strong enough to be able to, uh, to do some of these. We'll do some kickouts. So we're going to be working on the stomach here all the way up underneath the chin because we're leveraging weight as we move and we kick out. For those of you who aren't comfortable doing that, just tilt backwards a little bit while you're jogging. And that's going to give you that, that area as well. When we're doing the kick out side to side, if you're not comfortable leveraging that much weight, and I don't recommend it if you haven't been building up to it, then you can simply rock side to side on that one. When we're kicking out in the back to lift, tighten and tone the, the back and the, the buttocks, um, if you're not comfortable doing that, lean a little bit forward and then just kick your legs up a little bit behind you. And that's going to help strengthen it. So. You can take it at different levels, and I'm going to share with you some techniques that you can do while you're doing the, um, we call it the um, um, calisthenics one under the advanced section, so that we can open up the shoulders while we're doing the health bounce. So the health bounce is great, baby bounce. It's wonderful, but there's movements we can take advantage of while we're doing that as well. So if you have questions, please go ahead and type the questions in. Um, Christine, I'm sure, is, is watching and is supporting us, and Brooklyn's behind the camera here, and she can get some of our questions and get those to me so that I can, I can um, answer the things that are important to you. It's important to cellar size. Um, I think it's essential. The movement up and down is like an internal scrub brush from the inside out. As you're moving up and down, the fluid in your body is moving up and down. The lymphatic system is pumping. The circulatory system increasing oxygen and blood flow to all these different areas of the body, that pumping action out as we've seen is uh, helping to change blood chemistry. And it's, it's something that helps release stress and tension in the body. And we're dealing, a lot of us, with stress and tension. So it's important, I believe, to get rid of that on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have a hard time sleeping at night again, that gentle movement up and down, two to three minutes, focus on your fingertips, and when you feel the pressure at the tips of your fingertips, relax your shoulders, back and buttocks, and just gently move up and down on the solar sizer. So um, I was trying to get the, the edited changes on our iPad so that I could do the iPad. I wasn't able to get it to work, but I was able to get it to work on the phone. So I discovered something new, which many of you may already know. 
is that we can put the, uh, the iPhone holder right here when we're standing up and doing some movements, or if we're going to be sitting down and standing up, we can put it right down here, and that's exactly what I've done. So I've got the, uh, the phone with the uh, Mr. Rebounder app uh, with the uh, holder right where I can see it, and when I'm sitting down as well as standing up. So just a, just a little hint. We've had some great customer reviews lately. We've had some people who've been calling in that have been with us for a very, very long time. And we've had people of all ages lately calling us up, and it's been, it's been wonderful. If you're a physical therapist and you want to know something about an approach that the cellular sizer might benefit, um, please let me know. I've, I've worked with physical therapists, and you're far more trained than I am, but irrespective, the movement up and down on the cellular sizer, it's a massage on the tissue and the ligaments to help reduce inflammation, to help promote healing. Um, literally, it's a, it's a, a, a significant dynamics, dynamic and difference in our ability to recover when we're doing these movements up and down, gentle movements up and down, and doing different movements to work on different areas of our body. So I'm happy to help in any way that I can. All right, so a few customer reviews, and we'll answer some questions, and then we'll do our our, uh, our routine. Hello, David. I'm a 60-year-old retiree for the last 11 months. I got my first gym membership when I was 25, and I never looked back. 14 years ago, I became a Pilates instructor, but due to COVID-19, all gyms closed, therefore ending my part-time job with them. I also stopped exercising and became lazy and unmotivated. Eventually, I did start exercising at home, but realized that my ankle would hurt after exercising as well as my lower back. So I stopped and ordered your cellar sizer. Truth be told, though, before ordering your cellar sizer, I had already ordered another brand, and as soon as I received it, I immediately checked the springs, and it was just the typical springs that stretch out over time. So I immediately went to your website and ordered yours. I held back before because I was being thrifty, but I knew in my heart I actually needed the cellar sizer, so I ordered it, and I don't regret it. So today, at 9.25.20, after waiting since July 31st, I have received my long-awaited cellar sizer, and I am so excited. I even put it together myself with no problem at all. I also did my 10 minutes, and I tell you what, I was perspiring in those short 10 minutes, but I loved it. I'm looking forward to tonight and tomorrow morning, and so on and so on. When I first ordered my cellar sizer, you welcomed me to the cellar size family and you also told me to check back with you after cellar sizing for three weeks to see how it was going. So expect another email in my three weeks. I have high hopes and I will feel some improvement on my ankles and toes from past accidents. Painful L5 for the last six years from three falls that I had in the past and other discomfort I feel in my joints. Thank you so much and talk to you soon and God bless you. Philippa. Philippa, um... I look forward to hearing back from you. And if you have any questions regarding uh, what you're doing or you're experiencing anything, you know, give, me, give me a call. I'm happy to share some different approaches as well. All right, Linda writes, I was told I had bursitis in my left shoulder because I couldn't raise my hand over my head and would probably need surgery down the road. Not really placing faith in doctors these days, I started doing light jumping jack movements while I was bouncing and within two weeks, I was able to raise my hand over my head, and the pain has never returned. It's all about getting oxygen to the blood cells to start the heating process to the inflamed areas. I thought there was another part to that, but looks like it ended right there. Linda, thank you. And keep in mind on the cellar sizer, and, and I'm not here to disparage doctors. I work with doctors. I love doctors. Um, the doctors are learning what that what we do does have value when approached correctly. So if you have a health condition, consult, consult with your doctor. Feel free to have your doctor give me a call. But there's a huge, huge, huge dynamic occurring with the shoulders as we're moving up and down, just doing the baby bounce. And if you if you really want to experience that as you're moving up and down, just grab those deltoids, grab the shoulders, and then gently bounce up and down on the cellar sizer and see what it's like when you're a weightless weight weightless weight as those tissues are gently constantly pumping and circulating um, that um, 
and then you do different movements. It just it just improves it. So I'm I'm glad to hear about your success. Um, what can be done for someone with herniated discs? Herniated discs. That's not unusual. People get herniated discs. They come and they can go. Um, it, it's a stress or, or strain on the back. We can open up those vertebral joints. One of the best techniques that I've taught is lying down on the cellarcizer. When you lay down, you take the vertical pressure off. And when, when the uh, nerves are irritated, then the muscles knot up, and we want to get rid of the knots so we can open things up. And laying down on the cellarcizer and the technique that I teach, and many of you have seen it on Cellar Size, The Ultimate Exercise, and it's also on the YouTube, is when you're laying down and gently moving up and down, somebody else stands over you. And it, it, again, it's set up by putting a little pillow or sweater or something behind your head, putting your feet up on a chair with your um, knees bent, and you move your arms out to the side and somebody stands over you. And they're the ones who are gently moving you up and down. And it's a very deep massage, but it takes the pressure off of the disc. So as we're moving up and down without that vertical pressure, the nerves aren't feeling threatened, the muscles can relax. Um, we can open up those vertebral joints more. And then by rocking side to side, we can help loosen those muscles, loosen the tension over time. Those discs can actually start to reposition themselves. So that, uh, and then working with a chiropractor, working with a chiropractor is great. Working with a combination of them, it will probably heal a lot faster. So, um, Raj writes, God bless you for your work. So thankful for you, Jerry, and the whole staff at the Cellar Sizer headquarters. It touched my heart about your, the video about your wife and the love of your family for your wife. The Cellar Sizer product is such a wonderful way to exercise and have fun, but Cellar Sizer is so much more to us. It is about exercise and a way of life. It centers around family exercise. Thank you for letting us be a part of it. And you are. You're all part of the Cellar Size family. And it means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to all of you too. And we're all going again. We're going through this world together. We're here to support each other the best that we can so we can enjoy a better quality of life and be able to support each other. So one more. Janet writes, Just felt the truth of this today. Did a 5K walk through the Texas Canyon in southeast Arizona with my seven-year-old granddaughter and her mother, my daughter. The trial, the trail, was really a hard surface, and it was aching in the mid-back by about two miles in. Pound, pound, pound. But never an ache with my cellar sizer. I may get tired sometimes, but never do I ever have aching for hours that I get with street walking or hiking over rocky surfaces. I want to comment on that just briefly. There are a lot of people out there that with back problems and knee problems and, and hip problems that have a hard time doing typical exercise. I've worked a lot with athletes whose knees have been torn apart um, during their competitive years and they weren't able to do anything until they found out about the cellar sizer. And the approach on the cellar sizer is given them a quality of life many of them didn't, didn't think that they'd be able to have again. And she says, and my cellar sizer routine is a medicine that I take to ward off osteoporosis from anti-cancer treatment. Thank you, Dave, for your persistence in business and supporting us all in the cellar sizer family. Well, I want to thank all of you for your support and your belief and your patience at times with us as we continue to improve and, and work on a lot of uh, these very different programs. Okay, questions? Any more, Brooklyn? Any more? Okay, all right. Okay, my rotator cuff, small tears are, are, are better. So her small tears, she says, in her rotator cuff are, are doing better. Um, I guess they don't, my doctor said that they will always be there. I guess they don't fully heal. Yeah, I've been told the same thing in, in my knees and, and I've torn up my shoulders in the past where I wasn't even able to throw a, a ball. I don't know what it is. Um, when they looked at my uh, ligaments and tendons in my knee, they noticed lesions. 
And I asked him, what do you mean lesions? Where I'd torn the meniscus evidently several times in the past. But it healed. And those parts that didn't heal, we can do movements on the cellarizer to strengthen all the collateral muscles and supporting tissue in that area as well. And that, that's been very helpful too. How do I get started bouncing? Should I keep my arm close to my body? I'm worried about it being jarring, wondering if bouncing will hurt or help. It's a good question. All right, there's different approaches, and we're going to talk about shoulders. In fact, we'll do that a little bit in the routine tonight, too. But when I'm on the cellar sizer, when that shoulder is, is bothering you, and again, this is not medical advice. I'm going to show you what I've done and the techniques that I've taught doctors that have been very helpful to a great many people. But if you have an issue, consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to call me but, and I can share our program with him. Um, if you're holding your shoulder to help support it, nothing wrong with that. As you gently move up and down and you take your fingers and you feel those muscles in that shoulder, wow, huge, huge dynamic that's going on. It's really, really big. <laughs> your weight is weight. And those muscles and ligaments are being massaged and circulated and weight bearing strengthened, all of that, all at the same time. Incredible. So as we move, as we become better and we're holding it to help support it, we can start to lift the elbow up until we're, well, we're still comfortable, but that's going to help to open up that cuff. And then as we move out to the side, we're still moving up and down. If you can do that, if you can't, then we just start here. Remember, this is working 360 degrees of the shoulder anyway because every cell is being worked. But to help expedite and move that forward, if we can help support it and do these different movements, that's great. But just, you know, even if you're doing this, your cells are still doing this. We're helping to open up the structural part of the shoulder more by doing these different movements. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, and I, I, I think it's, it's an absolutely phenomenal for a great many of us that have had shoulder issues to deal with. A great many of us. Um, okay. Hi from Canada. I got my cellar sizer during the pandemic when the gym was closed to stay in shape. My question is, how vigorous do I have to bounce to get lymphatic drainage going? I don't think the baby bounce does it. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me tell you why. Okay. The lymphatic system holds a negative pressure. Any movement causes these, the, the negative pressure to suck or start to pull or move circulation. When we're on a cellar sizer and we're just gently moving up and down, those pressure changes are great. If, if you want, again, if you want to feel how significant they are, take your fingers and grab those shoulder muscles and move up and down. It's a lot. That's a lot of movement. That pumping is making it easier on the heart to increase circulation, but it's also activating millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system. And just this gentle movement right here, if you ever have a cold or an allergy or your stuff in your head, I'll get on that thing for just three to five minutes and it clears, it clears me, um, especially during allergy season. And you know, we've live in the high desert and when the winds are blowing, I'm not immune to it. I, if I feel it, I go get on the cellar sizer. Christine, if she feels it, she gets on the cellar sizer and it helps. And it's, uh, so it, it does move that, that circulation. Can and, the cellar sizer help with formation of the feet? Oh, the cellar sizer can, yeah. Um, you've got to be careful because there are many units out there that um, will exasperate the pronating of the feet. The cellar sizer will strengthen all the supporting muscles and ligaments around the, the ankle and the joints. Um, and we do just by lifting the heels up and down. It's very important that the mat support the feet. This is why the cellar sizer is one of the great advantages of the cellar sizer is that the mat material that, that I insist on and that we use is a polypropylene where every fiber is put in nearly 200 tons of pressure. It's a space age material, it's so dense you can't stretch it out. You can leave it out in the sun, the rain, the snow. It's weather resistant. They make swimming pool covers out of it now because it's UV resistant. I use it 
because it helps resist pronation of feet. You're coming down at different angles. You do not want that mat to stretch with the spring and cause your foot to roll on you. So that mat doesn't stretch, but it does move to support your natural alignment and the movement of your body. And that's, that's one of the helpful things. Okay. Um, in the mornings, I do a 20 minute jog on the solarizer. Am I getting the same benefits as the health bounce involving the lymphatic system? Well, it, it, any movement is going to increase um, that pumping action circulation. When you're jogging on a solar system, wonderful, absolutely. You, same thing, if you have congestion, if you have a um, stuffy head and you're jogging on a solar system, it'll clear it. It just clears it. And when it does, you know that that's because that pumping action and the pressure changes are helping to break up those blockages that can occur within the body through the inflammation. Another one, Brooklyn? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, jogging, 20, 20 minute jogging, so that's fantastic. It also increases metabolism and incredible, those great benefits. Um, I have a question about being able to turn the music off. Okay, I, I'm going to have to send this question to our technicians because I've never heard this before, but I, um, I want to know if anybody else is having this issue um, because I, I do the. Uh, and my, my kids have been doing the advanced aerobic uh, weight loss one on the advanced section just because it's intense. It's great exercise. Uh, and I just mute it and I play music. Um, but it ding, the, the ding still lets me know when the movement changes or we're watching a show. Kids often watch a show and do it. But this was, this was a little unique, and so it, it's something that I'd like to know if any of you have experienced this, and if so, let me know. But irrespective, I'll send it in to our technicians, and we'll look this over. But it says, I have a question about being able to turn the music off. I will put on Sirius XM music app to do my routine. Okay. When the exercise routine starts, I turn the Mr. Rebounder music off, so you hit the mute button for the music part of it. And every time the exercise changes, ding, it changes, the music comes back on at the same time. And I have to keep shutting it off. Is this normal for anyone else who uses other music? That should not occur. And so if, if it is, let's, let's look into it. And if others are experiencing it, look into it too. In the interim, you can, just in case, it's, an, it's the app, you can delete your app and then go ahead and reinstall it. You'll still save all of your workout routines that you may have created, but just um, delete the app, reinstall the app and see if the problem still occurs. It says, hi Dave, my weight is staying the same and my measurements went down a bit. I'm looking toned and my body composition is changing. My question is, what is the average amount of pounds of muscle or bone density that or bone density does one gain on the cellulosizer? Has there been a study on that yet? <laughs> no, and should there be? Absolutely. We have women who've talked about how they've changed their, their T scores in, in osteoporosis um, by several points when the doctor said that they didn't think that that was possible, and yet they tracked all their scores and I, I know more needs to be done on it. I don't have a lot of those answers. It's going to take a grant or something to be able to, to fund that kind of research. And hopefully that, that will happen soon because I would love to point him in the right directions as to, to what we've noticed and what we can accomplish. How to lose some frozen, frozen shoulders. Thank you. Those were those movements I was discussing earlier. Um, demonstrate exercise for heel pain. Oh, that's a tough one. The movement, I think, you, if you've got, often, it depends on what's causing it, whether it's a spur, bone spur, or if it's a, a tear or, or plantar fasciitis. All I can tell you is that with the cellulosizer, it's gentle. And so there's a massaging effort that's occurring. The tissue, you know, just even rocking side to side as we work on that area, um, as we promote circulation. Uh, this one's going to challenge it a little bit more, 
but you don't have to put a lot of weight on the heel as you're doing this. It's pumping the calf muscle, so it's helping to feed circulation. Again, remember the, the weakest area of circulation in the body is in the lowest extremities, which is going to be in the, in the feet. And the, um, that's where we, it, it can take longer to heal. So the cellulosizer just acts like a heart or a part of the heart to help pump that circulation, making it more effective and help to reduce that inflammation, increase that circulation, and ho hopefully promote that healing. Um, um, Jessie says that she's been diagnosed with flat feet, more specifically in her ankles. Um, they pronate when she stands up and walks, and they don't look flat. Her question is, should she not be barefoot on the cellar side mirror, or should, should she be on sneakers? Okay, a question regarding flat feet and what we can do to help build that up, whether we should be wearing shoes or, or not wearing shoes. And again, it's, I'll tell you my experience um, with it. And, you know, I've been doing this for, for over three decades now. We have seen people with flat feet and we've gotten some great comments and great feedback from it. Um, by going barefoot, the muscles, the bones, and the ligaments, and the tendons are going to start to adapt to your natural alignment, not to the alignment of a shoe. And so it's going to challenge the foot a little bit, and so muscles, ligaments, and tendons are going to start to move, and they can stretch, and you may feel some weaknesses in those areas as they start to get stronger. But one of the techniques in the feet that I think has been so helpful, uh, especially with people that um, are more flat-footed, has simply been the one where you lift the heels up and down. And as you're lifting the heels up and down, you're working the arches of the feet. You're doing that. You're, you're working the arches. You're pumping the calf muscle. And as they, uh, and it's gentle. It really is gentle, but it's also very effective. We had a lady who wrote me uh, how she'd been flat footed for years. And she was at her, she'd been cellar sizing for quite, you know, several months. And she was washing her dishes and standing at the sink washing her dishes and she was flat footed and she realized for the first time that she wasn't flat footed anymore, that her arches had helped lift up. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's very, very feasible and has helped uh, quite a few people. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to stop here unless, um, Brooklyn, you have some more and I'll read these starting from 15 on next week but let's uh let's go through the routine now the routine that is on the app right now <clears throat> is don't do that one yet because there's some changes i need to make i mean you can do it after this program but the timing is going to be a little bit different on the routine that i'm going to be doing based versus the routine that's on the the um the program at least until tomorrow so, we're going to start off with the gentle health or baby baths, and I'm going to start it here. Turn that up a little bit. And I'll, I'll, let me go ahead and tell you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so you can see that on, on your, your app right now too, but <laughs> that's not the right one. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're going to start off with the baby of the health bounce. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Now, during that 30 second health bounce, I'm going to show you some techniques you can be doing with your shoulders um, while we're doing that. Because it's just designed to help open up circulation, massage, warm up the body, and prepare it for other movements. Then we're going to do the twist for 30 seconds to get the internal organs warmed up. Because it does. It's, it's taking, again, for those who haven't heard me, and I'm sure most of you have, it's taking the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, um, the colon, the intestines, the lower back, and as we're gently moving up and down and twisting side to side, it's, it's like a little washing machine effect, but it helps stimulate, increase that circulation. And <clears throat> then we're going to do the warm up the hip rock for 30 seconds. And that hip rock, as we're moving side to side, is working both the knees as well as the hips. It's dropping the hips into the mat. It helps to loosen up the lower back. It's getting us ready for the next movement. Then we're going to do the sprint moderate for 30 seconds. And, for, and then after those 30 seconds, we're going to do the sprint intense. And that's, uh, that's going to 
you know, that, that's an aerobic program. And right from the sprint intense, and if you can't do this, just stay on the sprint moderate. Then we're going to do the front kick for the stomach. We're going to work on the stomach areas. Then we're going to do the side kicks for the side. Then we're going to do the back kick. Then we're going to loosen everything up again in the back by doing the gentle twist for 30 seconds. We'll do the front kick for uh, a minute and 40 seconds. So you get about a hundred of those in depending on how fast you're, you're doing it. Um, then we're going to do, we're going to, you'll see on the app, if you have the app, we'll go from stand to sit. It gives you a little bit of time to go from stand to sit. And then we're going to go through the sit and bounce routines. So we'll do number one, number two, number three. Um, then we'll do the bounce and crunch. We're all going to, we're going to do the sit and bounce originally. Oh, I didn't change. I changed on the wrong app. Oh. Okay. This is a, uh, I edited the wrong <laughs> movement routine. Okay, so the sit and bounce, the number one is for 30 seconds. You don't have to do a full 30 seconds of the sit and bounce. But what you're going to do when we begin, support your back. And as we do, move up and down, so it's not going to be too bad. Um, and then we're going to do it for 20 seconds, number two. And number three, number four, and number five, the bounce and crunch. We'll do um, about 15 seconds. We'll do the cheek to cheek if you can. Then we'll do, it'll have the stand, or sit to stand. Then we'll do the twist for 30 seconds, and we'll do the ski patrol for 30 seconds. Ski patrol one and ski patrol two. So we're going to work at hips, inner outer thigh, as well as the knees. And then we'll do the twist. We'll do a power breathing to get the oxygen in the body again. And then we'll do the gentle health or baby bounce. So all of that's going to take about 13 and a half minutes. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm sorry I didn't wasn't able to project this. This is a typical Monday. <laughs> so, so we're uh, happy to have you. You can go ahead and turn on the app if you want, because frankly, what is on, if you have the Miss Rebounder app and you're under the advanced section and you have the calisthenics routine there, it's the same routine that I'm going to be doing. So, all right. So we're going to start off, oh, sorry, we're going to start off with a health bounce, or baby bounce. And I'll, I think I'll turn up the music to you. Hmm, here we go. Okay. All right, so if you want to work the shoulders, just kind of cup the one shoulder and just gently stretch it as we're moving up and down. And then we do the same thing the other side. Gently stretch it as we're moving up and down. It's helping to open that up. Okay, gentle twist. And as we're doing the gentle twist, if you'd like to work the shoulders and the scapula area, lift your arms up as you're gently doing it. And you can feel that stretch in those areas as well. And, okay. Gentle rocking side to side. We're working the shoulders, the hips, lower back as we gently kind of pushing down into the mat. Okay, now. We're going to do the sprint moderate. And if you want to tilt backwards a little bit, you can. But 
We'll do this for 30 seconds and then we're going to go pretty much all out. But keep enough left for the front kicks because we'll do that afterwards. Tighten your stomach. Health bounce. Breathe in and out. <laughs> if you pump your arms up and down, you get the limp system moving even more. Okay, now, stomach run. I don't think this is the right routine. We'll see. But it's a good routine anyway. Huh. Okay, there we go. Front kicks. Tighten your stomach. And you can count if you'd like. This is literally how I built up my stomach muscles. A little more intense than just doing a sit-up. Coming down with a lot more weight on the bike. If you focus on tightening that area, you may feel it more. into the side. This is for the obliques and if you want to feel how much it's working them, put your fingers right there. That's a lot more intense than just lifting your leg up away from gravity. You're actually increasing the weight of gravity virtually. And the balance bar, people often ask, is the balance bar really necessary? The balance bar is a balance bar initially, but ultimately it becomes a performance bar. So it allows you to put more effort into your routines for increased results. Hope you're having fun. And again, if you can't do this, just rock side to side. In the app, the Mr. Rebounder app, 
you get just a routine. You don't have to listen to me talk. <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> oh, there you go. And again, if that's hard, just do this. When these muscles get stronger, your leg will stay straighter and you'll be able to work those muscles better. The bar gives you the ability again to lean forward more so you can create more leverage as you're building that area. Oh, oh I meant to turn that little uh, calorie burner on. We'll do that next time. Okay, it's a gentle twist. We're loosening everything up, restoring balance in the body. You want to drink lots of water because you're good chance you're breaking up heavy metal toxins, poisons, preservatives, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, maldehydes, all these foreign in invaders. Okay, we're going to sit and bounce now. Okay, we'll start off with just support your back and we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Switch. It's not going to be that bad when you're supporting your back. So it's not, and you can lean back a little bit if you want. So. Tighten your buttocks. I'm going to tighten your buttocks and that helps those muscles get more toned and stronger from the inside out. Okay, we're lifting up the right leg. And if you can do it like this, great. If you need to support your back a little, that's fine too. Four, three, two, one. We're going to switch legs. Again, if this is bothering your back, don't do this one. Okay. Oh, just the legs up. This is all being done with the stomach muscles. Okay, now we're doing a crunch. You're still in there. Very good. Cheek to cheek. The obliques, both sides of your stomach wall. I just hit it. Keep going. I turned off the music as well. <laughs> okay, and we're going to stand up. And we're going to do the twist. Now we do the twist after those to help with any strain or um, work on the back. Now, again, that sit and bounce, you don't play around with that if you have back issues. Um, better to do the leaning forward, kicking behind to build up the back. Because uh, you can feel this. Um, but the good thing is, we're doing the ski patrol now, is that cellular size is not jarring or tearing. It's, uh, these are advanced movements, so that's so why it's in the advanced section. By crossing one foot in front of the other, you help to loosen up the lower back and the muscles around that hip area. Okay, now, 
for those of you who like to go skiing, head on down the slopes. Don't do that, low battery. <laughs> okay, back to the side to side hip hop. If you want to, you'll feel it even more loosening up the lower back by using your shoulders. Gentle twist. Breathing. You should probably stop there for most of you. That's good. Again, gentle baby bounce. So the health of baby bounce, there's different things you can do. You want to open up shoulders more. And that's it, guys. Okay, so that app, we will, uh, well, it's already done. It's already introduced. Go ahead and feel free to use it. Um, you can change it. You can edit it. Um, I know I was able to do that on my phone, but I was editing the wrong routine. So I've got to go back and fix that. Um, but you can uh, just have fun with it. Make it your own. If you want to tone it down a little bit, take some of those movements out, put other movements in, and then you can push down on the added movement, push down and drag it up to the proper position that you want on the Mr. Rebounder app. Thank you again, everyone. I hope this has been helpful. Um, it's, um, it's always a joy and a pleasure. If you know people that have issues in their health, Helping the body do the job it best knows how to do is always the best way to begin. And I think cellular size goes a long way in helping to increase that circulation, reduce that inflammation, and then target those areas of the body by doing different movements. So again, thank you. I want to thank all the doctors for the support you've given me too. Um, that means a lot, a lot. <laughs> so thank you. Have a great week. Stay safe. Keep that immune system healthy and strong. And we'll, um, I don't think we're going to meet next week, but we'll meet the following week. Um, we'll see. But uh, irrespective, be safe. Thanks.